All right, so we've been using Notion to manage every aspect of our lives for quite a few years now, and it's honestly been life-changing. At least I think so. No, it's been really good, yeah. Yeah, so I have been using Notion personally probably for about six or seven years, and when we were having some challenges with just coordinating and figuring out so many things that you have to do in life, I had the great idea of suggesting that we create a joint Notion board. And that was probably about three years ago. And today we probably have like four Notion boards <laughs> between us. It's blown up, yeah. Yeah, so in this video, we want to share with you how we manage, organize, and plan every aspect of our life using Notion. We want to share with you what our setup is. So we will be giving you a sneak peek into what it actually looks like. And we'll also be sharing some tips and tricks if you want to start to implement Notion in your lives. Yep. All right, so if that is something that you are interested in, then keep on watching. A quick backstory on how we actually decided to use Notion in the first place. As I mentioned, I have been using it for quite some time and Notion is my digital life. I literally use it to plan and keep track of every single aspect of my life. Now you, on the other hand, had never used Notion, but you definitely have your own way of organizing everything and you are very organized. So I'm normally a handwritten organizational person. Uh, I write it down on the calendar, I have an appointment in two weeks, I'll write it down. When it comes up, I'll see it there. Literally but on a wall, wall calendar. Now with Notion, as someone who is very OCD about <laughs> a few things, um, it yeah, it's turned out to be yeah, as you said, life. I said life changing is very dramatic, but it, it almost has been. Wow, it has been. Yeah. I don't think you realize it has been. I think at some points we tried to use Google Calendar, so basically creating events for reminders that we wanted to send each other, whether it was individual plans we had or personal um, or joint plans we had. But again, you can only really use Google Calendar for events. Mm. We found that there were just so many things that we wanted to track. track. Yeah. So for example, our Notion board initially actually just started out as a board that had a list of cards that were just fun activities that we wanted to do. So the idea was when we have a weekend and we don't know what to do, we would always forget the ideas that we'd come up with. So we thought, cool, we'll make a list of Notion and when we're bored, we have some free time, we'll just look at our list of activities. So that's mm. actually how it started. Yeah, basic stuff like Picnic, yeah. movie, yeah. cook something. Meals that we want to try cooking, yeah. we'll link the recipes. Like hikes that we wanted mm. to go on, we would put in there. Yeah. Um, I think then that sort of extended to, if we had any trips planned, we would travel, like- Travel, yeah. Travel, we would, we would start adding cards for the travel. And then that expanded to, we need to book the travel. Yeah. We need to organize hotels. How much is that costing? So we'd put all the, the money movement in there and mm who needed to pay for what, and then track that. But yeah, it was fairly organic, like how our use of Notion started and, and what it's become. Mm. Now, why we picked Notion over so many other apps that are similar. Mm, there's so many out there. Yeah, there's yeah. so many, and Trello is probably one of the main ones you're thinking about, because mm. we, we usually do just stick to the basic Kanban board in Notion, we are using that. Um, I've used Trello before, but again, like probably eight years ago, I transitioned, well, maybe seven, six years ago, I transitioned from Trello to Notion. Um, there's obviously like Asana, Monday.com, but I feel like those are more business, work, enterprise level tools. Like you can do a lot with those and we definitely didn't need that. Mm -hmm. So I feel between Trello and Notion for sort of day-to-day -day life, personal use, I think they're probably two of the better ones. Um, they're really easy to use. There's not much of a learning curve, but then you can also use them in more of an advanced way if you want to. So yeah, that's why we went with Notion, basically because it was my personal preference. Yeah, I just felt like that. Yeah. Oh, and the app. I think the app is really good for Notion. The app, app's cool. Well, I haven't yeah. seen the apps for the other ones, but yeah. the Notion app is very um, user-friendly and very easy to use. Yeah, so it's great having Notion on our laptops, our iPads, and our phones. So it it's always up to date. There is never mm. a moment where we're like, oh, I can't access the Notion, so I'll update this thing later. And mm. I think when you end up falling behind on keeping your boards updated is when you eventually stop using it altogether. 
So now for the part you're probably most interested in, which is what does our Notion setup actually look, look like? like? So we're gonna talk you through it and obviously show you through it. I will put a screen recording here so you can follow along. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five Notion boards. Um, we have a main board and then all of the other four boards actually have filters from the main board. So in some ways you could say we have four boards. Um, we started out with the main board that just grew out of control <laughs> in the last few months. And so we decided to split those out into four other boards. So the main board that we have is literally where we just dump everything and we'll talk about tags and sort of filtering and categorization later. But the second board we have is for our house hunt. The next board we have is for our wedding planning. The next board we have is for our 2025 goals. And then the last board we have is for cooking and chefing, as we like to say, for yeah, food related ideas or places we wanna go out to eat and stuff like that. So in the to-do column, um, pretty much like we said, anything we think of, uh, we just chuck it in there. Any fun activities, any trips we need to start organizing, um, any future trips we might wanna do. Any um, ideas for like almost anything mm. we just dump in there, even if it's like, a random spur of the moment idea and we, yeah. just, we just move that to the bottom Add of the it list. in, maybe we can delete it later, but at least it's there. Yeah. Um, planned is the next column. So that's anything which moved from to do to planned is anything which has a date locked in in the future. So we know it's coming up and it's sorted chronologically. Um, so that again, it helps my OCD. <laughs> <laughs> we also yeah. put individual planned things in there. So for, for whatever reason, if I'm doing something or I'm going away, mm. I'll put that in there for visibility. <laughs> Sounds like Yeah, so we don't double book. <laughs> yeah, don't double book or we kind of know, okay, these are your plans and I know that I'm free that weekend because you're not here or whatever. <laughs> Next column is doing. So pretty much anything we're actively currently doing. And then the last one is done. Pretty much anything which has been completed, um, also, I like to add a little photo snapshot from yeah. the activity we've done. So if it was like a picnic, drive-in movie, mini golf, take a little snap, chuck it in the um, respective cards, and then one day we can look back on it. <laughs> if we yeah. have looked back on it. You're yeah. really good at doing that. You always update the photo. Whereas mm. I, I just, my OCD is I need to move it to done as soon as it's done because I don't want the planned column to be over cluttered. <laughs> so we have our different OCDs. Mm. So our mm. columns are mostly the same across the boards, except we do have our 2025 goals board, which the columns are different. The columns are each of the categories of the big goals we have. So mm. not gonna go into that in too much detail, but for example, we've got like a health and fitness one. And the reason we decided to put a column for that on the the goals board is because it helps us to keep each other accountable and it helps us to support each other because we know what each other's goals are. And of course we know what they are even without writing them down. But I think when you write it down, you're, I believe that you're more likely to achieve the goal and just to see the other person's goal written down as well is yeah. really helpful. And then the rest of the board is our shared goal. So I obviously have my own Kanban board for my goals, which is a whole other thing but these are our joint goals. So we've got a travel related column, we've got um, a, a wedding related one, and then we've got um, like house a hunting, house hunting yeah. one, and we've got some other personal related mm. goals that we have as well on the board. So within each card for anything that we want to do that is more of a significant task, we would break it down in the card. So obviously we can add comments to a card, but we tend to utilize the to-do list, like the checklist quite a lot mm. in our Notion boards. So as an example, do you want to talk about the marathon? Yeah, so with the marathon we did last year, New York 2024, um, there will get obviously a lot of steps involved with that one. Yeah. We did have, I guess, separate cards as well for the 
mm. um, I guess the overall process of it. But within our main New York 2024 marathon card, it was, you know, pick up the bibs, um, find the hotel, um, book race day transport. Book race day transport. Um, and then our training plans, you know, like week yeah. one, week two, week three. We pick it off each week, which is very satisfying. And keep us accountable. So yeah. definitely helped us along the way. We also had a separate card for like booking our flights mm. because there was quite a lot of travel involved, a lot of different <coughs> flights involved. Mm. So I think we put down all the different flight options and then over time we would book each yeah, flight, narrow it down, write down the cost yeah. of each flight you know, write down maybe who paid for it, who needed to transfer money. Like it was a really good way to just have everything related to this massive trip where there was a lot happening on that trip. Mm. Everything was just in one place. Mm. So you you always knew like the most up-to-date information. So if he booked something or if he paid for something, like I never had to ask. I just had to look on the notion board and vice versa. So in the last couple of months, we've really taken our, I think our checklist and our cards to the next level because we are, planning a wedding and house hunting. And you can imagine there are just so many steps <laughs> and tasks involved in each of those. So highly recommend if you are looking for a tool to use, something that can help you, again, depends to what extent you wanna use this, mm. but something that can kind of help you tick it off as well is, is something that we've found to be very, very helpful. One of the most important fields that we have set up in each card is called type. And that's basically where we assign a category to each card. And that is what drives the filtering of each of our boards. So for example, if we have a task for our wedding planning that we're putting into Notion, we will tag that with wedding. wedding and then yeah. that will only show up in the wedding board. And then it will not show up in the main board because we don't want duplication. There's already enough going on in each of our columns and boards. So that will just flow through to the wedding board. Mm. And again, we've got like a few different labels or categories. And if you set up, and I think that's one of my favorite parts of Notion, which I'm not sure if you can do with Trello, maybe you can now, but just the extent to which you can filter and search and customize the views of each board is very, very helpful. Mm. So that's how we manage the multiple boards. Yeah, I think that pretty much covers how we use Notion. It's basic Kanban boards, basic columns, and really just you know, breaking down cards as much as we feel like we need to, making sure we stay up to date with like moving the cards and, and adding more detail mm. to cards. Because I think if you kind of stop doing that, then you lose, yeah. You lose you the lose momentum. Mm. Yeah, you just you just lose it. So I think we're pretty good at doing that because of our OCDs. Thankfully, we don't have a problem with closing cards. So everything is usually pretty up to date. Um, but yeah, we thought we would wrap up this video by sharing some tips for mm. You guys, if you want to try and implement Notion personally in your life or most importantly with someone else, um, just to share with you what has worked for us and what hasn't worked and how you can make that process easy for yourself. So tip number one, start small. If you go into this thinking, oh, it's gonna completely change your life overnight, put everything in there, you might be overwhelmed and might lose control and then not update it as you go. So start small, start with basic stuff um, and then gradually increase over time. The adding types, adding more columns, um, more boards, more boards, and you can go from there. But definitely don't overwhelm yourself um, from the very start at least. Yeah, I think the thing that has been the best for us, which I don't think we realized, mm -hmm. is like how organically it has become something that we just want to yeah. use. And I think it's because we've gotten into a habit of doing it. So it's not something that we forced, it's something that started out as a fun thing. And I mm. think in terms of keeping it simple, it's also really helpful if it's fun and it's enjoyable. Cause if you're, especially if you're using Kanban boards at work, like you don't want this to give you, <laughs> give you the same Word feeling. No, <laughs> yeah. get away from it. So, so it's meant to be fun. We also put like little emojis next to each of our cards mm. and that just makes That's it a fun. bit yeah. fun as well. So yeah. Keep it simple, mm. make it fun, don't force it. Tip number two is equal ownership of <laughs> the Notion or yeah. whatever tool you're using. I just don't think it will work unless you both 
want it mm. and you both enjoy using it. So definitely find a tool that works for you both. In our case, it just happened to be that I was very familiar with Notion and thankfully it's super easy to use. So I don't think it was hard for me to convince you. No, it's very easy to <laughs> yeah, adapt. Very easy to adopt. So very easy to adopt. And I think you found your own ways of making it fun for yourself. Mm. Like the, I think the emojis was your idea, possibly. Emoji. Adding the like pictures. The, adding the photos yeah. when we were closing a card was your <coughs> idea. And if you try a tool that only one of you is keeping up to date or one of you is really resistant to, then it's just not gonna work. So I think try different tools. Thankfully for us, it was pretty easy mm. on the first go. But I don't think if you are not equally owning it and if you're not both really wanting to go in there and use it, then again, it's probably not really going to work. And so make sure you find something that you can both have equal ownership and the other person also really feels like, yeah, this is like my, they want to my do space. Yeah, yeah. because it was if I just gave you my Notion, because mm. we created our own Notion account, I didn't add this into my existing Notion board because I wanted it to feel like it was a Our place thing. for us. Yeah. yeah, both. Not just, here's my Notion board. You can just add, add your it. stuff to it. <laughs> Tip number three is related to not letting the boards get out of control. And so doing a regular review mm. of your Notion board. So this doesn't have to be weekly by any means. Maybe it's monthly or maybe it's just whenever you feel like it needs, which is what we do, is as much as we try and keep everything up to date, because we're adding so much to the Notion boards, probably almost every day, yeah. I'm at least not adding something in there, but updating something. Updating cards, yeah. Yeah, once in a while we, we realize, oh, there's a lot going on. Let's just do a joint review and it can be like a 10 minute exercise and mm. like call anything that's not relevant or reprioritize something. So like ideas that we had for fun activities we might wanna do that don't actually sound that good anymore. Maybe we, we wanna keep them there, but we'll just like move them right to the bottom. Um, I think also like hiding everything you've completed is good once in a while because the done column can again get really out of control. Mm. And so yeah, just having some sort of cadence, whether it's a set cadence, I would personally love it if we got to this point of like doing weekly check-ins or weekly stand-ups, but I um, <laughs> hold on, hold on. still have a way to go. <laughs> oh, that's my dream. Oh, that's my dream. Yeah. We'll get there one day. But yeah, we just do it once in a while just to make sure everything is not getting out of control. Yeah. The other thing that I would love for us to eventually do is like have a Notion dashboard. I'm gonna set one up. Okay. It's like a landing page that gives you an overview of everything going on in your boards before mm. you dive straight into each board. Okay, I'm open to it. Mm. We'll you can have see like how you go. visual stuff, you can have like <laughs> progress indicators. Oh, so satisfying. But anyway, I'm getting carried away. So I think we will wrap up this video here. We really hope you found this valuable. <laughs> hope you found it interesting. He's not distracted. He's actually currently reviewing, this is our notion board. reviewing the notion board. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I really mean it when I say it has been life changing or it has been a very, very, very helpful addition to our lives. So I think we've, we've shared this with a lot of our friends as well. And they're usually like, they, they find it weird. They find it weird. A lot of our friends find right. it weird. I mean, they find it weird at start, but then they yeah. come around to it very quickly and say yeah. how good of an idea it is. Yeah, because they'll often complain that they don't know what the other person is doing or, you know, mm. whatever they're planning. And I think a lot of them do use Google Calendar. But, like, this just makes so much sense. So definitely try it out for yourself before you judge it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments about Notion, about planning, about coordinating stuff together and thank you for watching if you got this far and notion it up um yeah notion it up and we'll see you in the next video bye